Hi and good morning, welcome to day six at Thor Park Farm in Barley Castle. Today we're actually going home. We didn't take a, a video last night because what we thought we'd do is we'd put the footage from yesterday and the footage from the day, which isn't going to be that much, as we drive home uh, together in one video. So I hope you've liked the series so far. If you haven't already, give us a thumbs up. And if you don't already subscribe, uh, or maybe leave a comment and what we'll do is now we're going to go down for breakfast because i've been paid so i actually have some money in the bank account for once so we're going to go for breakfast a lot of things are pretty much getting there in terms of like the awning carpet all down and obviously we just need to take the awning down and we'll get back but we're pretty much getting there and we don't have to leave till 12 o'clock and the time is now currently nine so we're going to go for breakfast come back and then take everything down We'll just leave some footage of us having breakfast and that's the end of the series. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>welcome back we're just about to leave Thorpe Park Farm we've been here for five and a bit days uh, the caravan's all hooked up you probably can't see because the awnings on the back there so we've had a good time here so far uh, we've had a good time here and uh, now we're just gonna leave so we're gonna go through what each person's favorite thing was so for me it probably was good like what a valiancy and the girls enjoying their time on the roller coaster the Maisie being dead brave going on the ultimate and Martha being dead brave going them spinny coconuts that nearly made dad sick and yeah, three times even though I was told but to get up eventually. So Maisie, what was your first, what was your best part? Like sport and valley can I like spend the time with my family on the really cool I thought it was your favourite thing? The same. Olivia, what was your favourite thing? No, Olivia's not paying attention because she's watching, I think, in the night garden. There are a lot of good kids' programmes, but that's the one she's watching at the moment. We can say goodbye. Bye. Right, goodbye. If you don't already, give us a thumbs up uh, and subscribe to see our adventures that are coming to come up. And thank you for watching. Goodbye. So what I thought we'd do is rather than do a complete separate review video, um, which sometimes feels like maybe we're milking a bit, going away, uh, what we do was do this short end to the video and end into the series, just to explain what how we found uh, Thorpe Farm Park, which is down near Barna Castle and what we liked about it, and anything that we thought could be maybe improved about it. So the first thing I think we really liked about it was we, as I said, we were kind of visiting family there, Lucy's family there, while we were down there. So we wanted a decent location. And it was a toss-up between, do we get somewhere nice and close to like a major road, so it's easy to use the caravan and get there, or should we get somewhere a bit further afield for the caravan, but closer to where they are. So after we did an online poll and on Twitter, what we decided we'd do is we would go somewhere that was easier to get to. The Thorpe Farm Park uh, caravan site is very easy to get to. Firstly for us, it's down the A1M, turn off at Scotch Corner, go on Scotch Corner and you basically take a right uh, at the right place and you're there. So that was a really positive part. It was nice, easy to get to. Um, the pitch we were on in terms of getting onto the pitch was great because we had a lone caravan while we were there. Um, the actual site itself was, was reasonable, kept reasonably nice and tidy. The main showers were, were fine, um, nothing to write home about, but again, they were kept nice and clean and tidy. So they were the kind of good things. It also had a really good main park, 
which was a bit too far away for our liking, but we'll talk in a second. And it had a nice cafe and a nice sort of shop. But again, there was a little bit of a walk there. So then kind of come to things that we didn't like about it so much were that the actual showers were not miles away, but they weren't particularly close. The toilets, there was a second set of toilets that weren't too far away, but getting the showers when we were at the very end of the top field was a little bit of a trek uh, to get there. Also, when you needed to empty your um, chemical waste and when you needed to your drag your waste master, it was very heavy to drag the waste master for the best part of 10 minutes maybe slightly under with the weight constantly up to change hands like left hand then right hand then left hand then right hand to get it down there now i know you could say well actually maybe you should do it more often and maybe that was the thing we probably would have done if we were there a bit longer uh, but that took a little bit longer than we would have liked um the main park was brilliant the kids absolutely loved it but again, from where we were, the main part looked as if it had been put on there for the cafe. The actual park inside the site, where actually all the caravans were, wasn't that big. and It was fine, it just wasn't that big for the number of caravans that were there. Obviously, there was a lot of static um, caravans there. There was a lot of caravans that were there, like seasonal, that was great. But it just seemed that the main park originally wasn't great. But the new main park was fab. It just was hard to get there. And you probably, you know, we don't really like letting our kids go there on our own anyway at the park but it was over a car back and over like a little bit of a road section. So that was that was harder to get to. So in someone that would we go there again? I'm not sure. I don't think we probably would. There's nothing wrong with the site. I think a lot of people really enjoy it. And it was quite busy when we were there. And the main reason we probably wouldn't go back was probably the trek with the waste master and the chemical disposal and the main park being a bit further away. Uh, and the other thing is we probably already have somewhere that we quite like near Barnet Castle called Heatherwick Park. Uh, which we kind of put on our um, top list from last year and I'll put a little link up there for that um, and we like that and we really kind of resonate with that place so probably for us Thor Park Farm was a good site it just probably wasn't for us in the long run but again I think for a lot of people the actual location just off the A66 quite close to Barnet Castle quite close to a few other places you can go around as well like Richmond so location wise spot on as I said things we would improve have a second uh, shower block near the top end of the field and also make sure that you don't have to drag the chemical disposal and the waste master quite as far. Hopefully you've enjoyed the series of videos. If you have, can you give us a thumb up, uh, like a like, uh, maybe a comment below whether you've been there before or anywhere near Barnet Castle that you quite like. And if you don't already, subscribe. Thanks for your time and thank you for watching. Goodbye.